Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel So before I'm going to teach my students about analytical exposition I want to remind you about the content of my video Maybe some of you have already watched about my YouTube video So many videos that I have shared to you But actually I have so many ideas that I want to share to you all So just please check my YouTube playlist because there are a lot of things that maybe you want to find I'm interested for cooking I'm interested to teach English I'm interested to playing some music instruments such as guitar and uh, drum sometimes I'm singing and then sometimes I give some tips to you and also so many kind that I want to discuss to you about life about ETA or something like that so don't forget to turn on your bell to get some information on my youtube channel don't forget so for subscribing my channel like and give comment below okay everyone okay students Today, I would like to teach you about analytical exposition. Before you are going to the explanation to the next slide, I want to give an example for analytical exposition to you that I have made. So everyone please listen carefully and watching my video properly, okay? So the topic that I want to share to you today is about the importance of YouTube for education. A great revolution that has been brought about in the field of education is on YouTube. Now, education is closely related to YouTube. It's a video sharing website that provides good quality education that has been developed a lot during past few years. In the modern era that we live in today, YouTube is a great place. By using YouTube, a student from one country can have access to education from another country. Therefore, learning on YouTube has gained tremendous importance. So why do I say YouTube is important for education? Firstly, students don't have to go outside or spend a fortune to learn the required chapters. So learners can save both their time and money if a student is not able to understand a concept they have an option to watch it again secondly teachers can provide good quality education which is not able to reach many students in traditional way there is no requirement of any classroom big benches or other school materials to learn anything only a robust and reliable internet connection and smartphone are needed. A virtual classroom of YouTube is open 24 hours a day and 7 days a week for everyone. Due to its increased popularity, almost all phones come with a pre-installed YouTube app. This makes learning comfortable and easy. Lastly, for any kind of information or clarification on a topic, students just have to search for YouTube by entering the desired title and a number of videos that similar information will pop up on the screen. By the observed uses of YouTube video views, the entire world is turning into a classroom where some people are teachers and the rest are students. In conclusion, now it's well understood that the use of YouTube and learning or making it part of your course will successfully deliver the most strong media communication to learners all over the world. Today, education is becoming more developed with the help of YouTube. And the important thing is that novice has to be charged. This means that learning, the most crucial asset, is free of cost. YouTube plays a vital role to improve education. It almost seems that the website makes a single global virtual school where students from all over the world can learn together. With the help of YouTube, education and every field are enhanced day by day. Considering all the endless boons that YouTube has to offer 
in the area of education. It is not an exaggeration to say that YouTube has become the master of all social media. Okay, students, I think that's all for an example analytical exposition. I think you have to go to the next slide about the explanation of analytical exposition. And don't forget to do your homework because I have delivered some questions based on the video that you have watched just now. Okay, goodbye everyone. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, I would like to explain to you about an analytical exposition. You have watched my video about an example of analytical exposition first. But uh, in this slide, I would like to explain more about the function, structure, and example in written example. Analytical exposition in general. So, we will discuss about analytical exposition, about the structure, and then there is topic supporting sentences and also grammar that is used in this explanation text using simple present tense and if clause okay we come to okay we come to the first explanation first an analytical exposition text or we call it persuasive text also is a form of essay or argumentative text designed to persuade the reader or listeners that something in that something is the case such as good bad harmful beneficial or etc there is an issue it's happening now so we will discuss uh, by using this text so maybe the case such as corona bad and harmful or maybe we talk about uh, Idul Fitri, holiday, we will discuss about the good case, okay? So the structure of analytical, it consists of three parts. First is thesis. And then what is thesis? Which indicates the topic and ends with reasoning or proof of the statement. Okay, so the first important thing is topic. So topic here, it means that in paragraph one, you will tell about the topic that you are going to uh, discuss with your reader. Okay, and next we come to the next paragraph. The, con the contents are arguments. So uh, we need more than one argument, two or three or four or so on. Uh, the argument is which least reasons facts or statistic or provides examples okay maybe for example we talk about corona so in the first thesis you will tell what is corona blah 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 and then the second you will if your argument about corona so corona you will explain by using your reason facts of the victims statistic of the victims from the beginning until today and then provides for example such as in Indonesia the victims uh, who have died blah 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 okay next we call it reiteration reiteration is which re which restates the thesis statement or draws a conclusion based, based on the argument okay so the reiteration it means um, we call it conclusion two so the writer will give the writer will conclude uh, the text by using uh, restates restates it means you or writer repeat again the thesis statement in short and uh, also draws a conclusion based on the argument so you can check from the thesis or argument so it means repetition thesis or argument okay next persuasive writing is often used for advertisement in order to convince customer to buy certain products a good piece of persuasive writing a good piece of persuasive writing should always be supported with facts or data that support the writer's point of view. So this text, it means there is data or facts 
full support it to your topic like I told you like corona you have to collect the data or some explanation from the doctor or something like that so it means you prove the text is really good to persuasive the reader okay next analytical exposition also appear in the form of poems campaign posters and advertisement so in this kind of text like poem campaign poster and advertisement you will find analytical exposition because you will give uh, facts and data inside the poems campaign poster and advertisement okay uh, so this is the explanation of analytical or persuasive writing okay i will give you an example in written text why are books important for us okay the structure of the text the first is thesis so where is the thesis here the thesis here is in paragraph one a wise man once said learning without books means nothing in my opinion, this statement is true. Why do I say that? This is for several reasons. So this is thesis talking about the topic that you want to uh, write or the writers want to deliver. Okay, next, the structure is argument. So there are three arguments that is used in this text or example. For example, argument number one. So, firstly, books are crucial in developing the mind and help foster critical thinking. For example, after reading a book, even if you don't agree with some of the points in the book, you might have ideas on how to improve them. So, the reason here is our first argument from the writer. Okay, so what is in in this argument there is topic sentence number of argument and supporting sentence you will match the color number is firstly topic sentence is the brown one book are crucial in the playing in developing the mind and help foster critical thinking so this is topic sentence of your second paragraph Next, supporting sentence, so the explanation from here, the back one until here, for example, until them. Okay, next, the second argument, number of argument is secondly. So, what is the content? Secondly, books not only contain stories, but also record facts and review histories. You can also learn about a certain period in history by discovering the popular books of that era for example you can learn about the french revolutionary era by reading alexander dumas a tale of two cities so the number argument is here secondly and then topic sentence sentence in the first sentence of the paragraph also the color is brown and supporting sentences is here you can also learn until two cities okay so uh sometimes topic sentence is in the first paragraph okay next the argument number three talking about lastly book not only educate but also entertain there are books containing mystery drama comedy adventure and so on there are books about virtually everything the possibilities are endless so the number of or, or argument here is lastly the topic sentence is book not only educate but also entertain and then supporting sentences is here there are until endless and the last part of the structure uh, analytical exposition is reiteration or we call it conclusion so this is it Based on the reasons above, it is no wonder that books are said to be our windows to the world. Okay, so this is the conclusion that writers take from the thesis, also the argument.
Okay, so this is the example of analytical exposition, and also we have analyzed about the structure and also the part of the argument. For example, uh, we use number of argument, topic sentence, and okay, I will tell you about analytical exposition test. May also use if clause. Is if clause is uh the sentence that using if in the front for example if nuclear was is not properly stored it will be extremely hazardous to all living things so if clause it means you uh like imagine something will happen remember you can use this expression to introduce your thesis statement okay so this sentences is useful to make your test your thesis uh clear what will you do for the next explanation for example why do i say that let me tell you reasons why i say that for several reasons and etc okay like maybe you can get the example from my video too okay next the last you can develop an analytical exposition text by enumeration and okay what is what is it like i as told you before the number of your paragraph first second third fourth because you have some arguments inside your uh, paragraph firstly secondly thirdly finally first of all in the first class additionally for more moreover finally last of all last but not least okay so here it is in general about analytical exposition okay next what is okay next slide is the last slide you can also develop an analytical exposition text by listing the reason first one reason is that another reason is that so you can use reason listing of reason okay uh, in beside you put numbering uh, like I told you before in making a reiteration in analytical exposition text you can reset the thesis statement or draw a conclusion okay working for example working long hours at a computer can cause eye strain why do I say that first you tell the reason second you tell the reason and then in the end so working at computer a long period that so working at computer for a long period can strain your eyes so this is the risk states about the test statement that you have made okay so this is the reiteration or conclusion okay i think that's all we come to the next slide about the questions there are five questions that I will deliver to you from the video that you have watched in the first. Okay, thank you. That's all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.